Hello, everyone, and welcome to episode seven of the TCC CTC Link vlog. I just have a, a few quick updates uh, this week. Um, but before we get started, I just wanted to say welcome back uh, to everybody um, for fall quarter and hope everybody gets has a great start to, to fall quarter next week. Um, and so first, the first thing I want to talk about is uh, our episode six winner, uh, Drake, who over in enrollment services. He's been hosting Link uh, now for the past four weeks. We didn't have a, an episode uh, two weeks ago, so, um, so he's been hanging on to Link for a while now. And uh, so I just want to remind everybody to stay tuned uh, on Monday uh, for the question of the of, uh, episode seven, uh, so that you may be able to host uh, Link for the next couple weeks. Um, so I thought it's I thought I'd start off um, just by kind of um, uh, reminding everybody how to create a, a Yammer account and join the CTC Link. Uh, Yammer group, um, basically because that's where uh, the the answers to the questions get posted uh, from the for the for the contest for the video blog. Um, so I'll, I'll run through the instruction sheet really quickly. But um, if you want, if you'd like a copy, a PDF copy, just feel free to email me and I'll send that to you. Uh, so the first step is to go to um, www.yammer.com, and once you're on that site. Um, just enter in your TCC email address and click the sign up button. And then uh, you'll want to log into your email and, and click the activate link uh, from the email that you'll receive from Yammer. And then uh, you'll fill out prof some profile information. Uh, you and then optionally you could add additional uh, email addresses for uh, other colleagues on the campus, but you may hold off on that because there's quite a few of us that are, that are on Yammer. Um, and then the next step is, is it's an optional step, but uh, you'll, be able, you'll see some Yammer groups that you can join. Uh, and so the CTC Link one is a good one to join, especially if you want to host a link uh, for a couple weeks in your department. Um, so you can click on a, on a link for um, a different uh, one of the groups, and, and not just uh, CTC Link, but there's e-learning, um, public safety, there's a, there's a number of groups uh, in Yammer. And then you can add a profile photo if you'd like to. Um, and hit save and continue and that's going to take you to uh, the Yammer home page and then you can on the left hand side you'll be able to click a link for the CTC link group. So I just wanted to kind of uh, walk through the instructions quickly to kind of show folks um, how to act, how to create an account on Yammer because um, on Monday when I send out the question uh, Yammer is the place where you'll want to post the response if you're interested in hosting Link for a couple of weeks and people have been having fun um, having Link in their department setting the track up uh, various locations um, so anyway that's uh, that's how you access Yammer. Uh, the final thing I wanted to chat about today is um, we're getting into the data um, data conversion phase of the CTC Link project and uh, what's happening now is uh, the CTC Link team at the state level they're starting to run uh, conversion processes on, on different pieces of data. Right now they're working on the bio uh, demo data on students and faculty and staff. And they're, they're creating error reports uh, for us to look at on the campuses. So in the bio demo uh, data area, uh, this error report it, uh, um, it basically has been sent to um, Steve Ashpole and, and Drake and they've been working on cleaning up the data, cleaning up the errors in the data. But as they start doing conversion processes on other on other pieces of data within the system, the legacy system, um, I'll be sending out these error reports uh, to other folks on campus so we can start working on cleaning up the data. And it's, and it's really important to clean up as much of the data as possible um, uh, within the legacy system. And the reason for that is, uh, even though the data will be moved after um, after they've converted, it'll move into a staging area in PeopleSoft. Uh, there are there are quite a bit of there's quite a bit of pieces of data that will um, quite a bit of data elements, I guess, that will be refreshed uh, periodically, and especially as we get closer to go live date. So, for instance, the student demographic data. 
um, you know, we're going to need to rerun some of that conversion, uh, some of those conversion processes again to get the, the newer student data as we get closer to go, go live. So right now it's running data on what we have in the system now, but as we get closer to go live, we'll have new students in winter quarter, so that data is not going to need to be refreshed. And any changes that are made in the staging area um, essentially may be wiped out as they refresh that data from uh, the cleaned up uh, data within the legacy environment. So it's really important to clean that data up in the legacy environment so that as they do these uh, refreshes um, the the you know there's more clean data that gets into the system and it, and you're not spending time trying to fix data there that may get uh, overwritten um, when they do a refresh so it's really important to kind of focus on the on the cleanup efforts uh, in the legacy environment and I'm here to support uh, those efforts um, any way I can so um, what I'll be doing is as as those error reports come in I'll be meeting with folks um, to talk about uh, the process that we want to set up for, for cleaning up this data and making sure we get uh, as clean of data as we can in the system uh, when it, before it gets converted into the, into the hub environment. So uh, that's all I have for this week. Um, if, again, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, uh, don't hesitate to send me an email or uh, give me a call or stop by my office. I'm happy to chat uh, with everybody about uh, the project, any questions you might have. Um, and so uh, stay tuned Monday for the question and I'll see you in a couple weeks.